Okay, today I'm going to show you how to modify curves within the animation blueprint using the modify curve node. Okay, today we'll be working with the modify curve node. And to modify curves, we use a variable map that has a array of names and an array of floats. And this modify curve node changes those values for those names, okay? Okay, and I'm placing my modified curve node right at the end of the anim graph, right before the output pose. That way, if I had any kind of layered uh, pose by bool or something like that, uh, this would be at the very end. It wouldn't be bypassed by some kind of false or true pose. Okay, so right click and let's find this node, modified curve. Let's find this curve map that I have exposed on mine. Let's go to modified curve, curve map, and select expose on pin where it says bind. All right, and we want to select expose on pin and then drag off in that curve map and promote the variable. All right, and now you have the same variable type that I'm using on my curve modified curve node. Okay, and to add indexes to this map, hit the plus button, all right? And it needs to have a unique name for every index and none is a valid name. So we need to change this to something different because none is the default name for every name in this array. So we need to change it to something different, so name. And then we hit a plus again, and the none is created, all right? And if we were to create a third one, we would need to change none to something different, all right? So let's go take a look at the skeletal mesh that is using morphs, and let's go find a morph to add to this map that we just created. Uh, that's not really distinctive enough. Distraught, there we go. That's very visible. So we'll use this. Right-click, copy names. Let's go back to the animation blueprint, and let's go ahead and add this morph name to our variable that we just created. Or I'll, in my instance, I'll add it to the one that I already created. Okay, so we'll go to the details for this variable, hit plus to add a map element, and let's change this name and paste in the name we just copied from our morph target for a skeletal mesh. And let's put the value to max. And there you go. He's distraught. Um, so let's go ahead and delete it because he shouldn't be distraught. We just did something right. All right, so let's go ahead and change that back. And let me just go ahead and bypass this modified curve node to show you exactly what it's doing. All right, it's modifying his suit to better fit him. All right, connect, reconnect them, and boom, there it is. Thanks for stopping by. That's the modified curve node, and I will see you next time. Take care.